what sin does what addiction does is to tie down a man for the life he should live and the expert he should perform to be happening before his eyes but it's not the vessel doing it what is most, most noteworthy about vessels of impact is not the impact is the liberty of the spirit to make that possible there are many people who are watching what they could have become happen before their life and seen others do it and each time they struggle to get it done to do some things the weight draws them back the addiction draws them back it pulls them back to the ocean and say it's not you and some the devil has been able to automate a system where it happens every day so what that means is that if care is not if it happens every day you may not even have a fasting life because it happens every day you can't be fasting and sinning masturbation every day pornography every day um, smoking every day and different forms of vices now the devil has automated it that now it is daily not just daily almost every hour so what he's doing is that he has been able to successfully automate a process that now because addiction is the devil saying it is not that thing coming for you it is you hooked on it and as long as you are hooked on it what is happening is that the time you could have spent to fellowship to study to go deeper in god to be proficient in becoming this vessel that god will use that time is invested into this and what that means is that there's no way god can use a man who is handicapped the man who didn't prepare addiction takes you away from preparation take you away from everything that you should do when you see such a person is there still hope yes Listen, the battle cry of the devil is to get you far away from Jesus as much as possible. To let you, he wants to make you know that you are too dirty for fellowship. He wants to make you know that you are too filthy to call Haba. He wants to make you believe that it is insane for you to believe that your kind can do anything important with the time you have wasted. He wants to make you believe that it's over. He wants to communicate your nakedness to you so you can also hide and cover yourself with figs. And when God came and searched for Adam and Eve, that was a father coming to look for his children that has gone astray. Go and read your Bible. In Genesis 3, he killed an animal and he made coats for them with the skin. The first fashion designer in the Bible was God. You're welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is a little squishy. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> Well, if you are new here, my name is Kemi Omorube. <clears throat> I'm a content creator in Benin City. I love you. Thanks for visiting. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up, okay? So today, I want to try to take my daughter some pictures. She'll be six months old in some days' time, and I honestly considered going to the studio. But then again, what's the use of having all these gears? And not be able to save some money okay so now i'm going to be taking her pictures myself i don't have so much props but i'm hoping <clears throat> i'm hoping i can come up with something nice i'm going to be using my 50 mm lens that i got recently yeah i already have it on a vitrox adapter here this will be my first time of trying this lens out for pictures I've made only one video on this and I love the video quality so I'm really glad to see what I can create with this lens and of course I'm using my Canon M50 I just want to set up my light and just get ready she's currently sleeping 
she has been sleeping for a while so i know she'll soon wake up and we need to dress her up and all of that so just let's let's see what we can do i'll put up the pictures here probably unedited i'm not very good at picture editing so maybe i can get somebody to edit it for me later but whichever picture you see it's most likely the raw ones i took so rate my skill in the comment section okay just let me know what you think about these pictures so let's do this together by the ways before i go did i mention that i am in Bini City? we don't have so many vloggers in Bini City, in case you don't know so if you are launching a product you are opening a restaurant or you just want some visibility for your hotel i am your girl just call me okay i'll create great content for you i promise i promise this is inbuilt okay you can't get it better anyway so 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 if you're in Bini City, your business in Bini City, I don't know why you'll be calling a content creator from Lagos, from Abuja. I am here in Bini City. We are not many. Call me, call me, okay? A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young, it has just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Pull the stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop Every shot from the top running wild Now the morning is the afternoon We lay awake in bed The glass so loud as the hour Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look who got everything on her to-do list done today. Me. Me. So I think we got some really nice pictures. What do you think? I don't know why this light is doing like this, so I don't know. Oh, generator. Yep, generator on in case you're hearing some noises. That's the story of our life, our combined life. <laughs> I need to make two food. I'm making noodles for the children and I want to try to make um, maybe stir fry. Yeah, that's on the menu stir fry, vegetable stir fry. I'm on a weight loss journey. I enrolled under Shredder Gang for their one month program. <coughs> I honestly just want to use that to, you know, overcome that inertia. Then subsequently, I'll try to do stuff myself. I was assigned an accountability person like that and it's one-on-one -on -one. even though one-on-one -on -one sounds great but i was really looking forward to the community it has a way of motivating you to you know keep on going but it's one-on-one -on -one and it's been fine so far it's been um five days of healthy eating and exercising so I'm hoping to lose some weight and, you know, gain strength. <laughs> you know, I always say I'm not in a hurry and all of that. Yeah, I think that excuse has overstayed its welcome. So it's been six months postpartum. It's time for me to get back. But I'm honestly glad that I took that time to just rest my soul. Not put any kind of pressure on myself and, you know, just enjoy motherhood. I was really present and that was obvious and i also like that i was able to document that journey and put it out here but now just the way i intentionally rested i want to intentionally work on my body to get back into shape and i'm giving myself another six months honestly so no pressure imagine reading atomic habits and being on a weight loss journey at the same time i'm basically just applying what i'm reading in the book to help me keep up one of the things i caught from that book was um, to develop a new habit you have to make doing the habits easy. So what I did was to meal prep. You know, if you don't have what you will eat, by the time hunger hook you, you hurry up and go and, you know, drink Fanta and go and 
just eat whatever you see but if you have your meal prepared that has really made a difference for me it's not all the meal i had prepared because like vegetable stir fry now i'm just going to cut and all that but i could have done that too i could have washed and you know cut my veggies down but i did other things like cooking oilless okra oilless vegetable soup and just stocking it up in the freezer it has really been helpful so i don't think so much i was once on a weight loss program it lasted for two weeks it was a free program and one of the issue I had then was, it was just a lot, just overwhelming, too much to do. I would just keep thinking of food, 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 and the next food because I need to take picture and submit it. No, that's not happening with this. So preparing the food beforehand has really helped me. I am missing community. <laughs> that's just me. I like that togetherness. So it's, yeah, it's going, it's going well. And I don't think I've cheated so far. Two days ago, someone bought me parfait and I had to take a picture and send to my accountability partner. So we had to look at the content and she approved eventually. So if anything like that comes in, I can always discuss with her. And I was well, let me get to cooking. Still from the books, it says there are three levels of change. One, you can change your identity that's the deepest level okay started from inward now you can change change the identity then you can change the process of changing your habit the process to either help you develop a habit or to help you stop an existing habit then uh, the last one is outcome so you are probably working and that's what many people do they try to achieve an outcome without working on their inside so the most effective one is to change your identity start seeing yourself as the person you want to become and then from there you work outward you, you work on your process and then the outcome comes almost naturally because you have changed your heart you have changed you are, you are looking at a new person a new identity you have embraced that personality so what flows out is effortless mm -hmm. almost effortless anyways that's one of the things I am what has a violin there are lots there are lots and I'll probably be dropping gems now and also I think reading the book has a way of making you to want to read more of the book because reading is still a habit so for me as I was reading the book I was using reading the book to assess how much I am doing in developing the habit of reading so let's do this my generator was really acting up this evening and i had to use another one i don't know what's wrong with it i can't believe it's been six months already i have observed that trying to do a lot of things at once to achieve a lot of goals at once doesn't work for me the same man know thyself. It is very important that you know who you are and how you work and what works best for you. Not just following the crowd because they say so so and so. No, look at what works best for you. So for me, I gave myself some space to come out of that plenty motherhood era. It made me enjoy the process a lot. So if you are struggling with achieving a lot of goals, that there's just too much in this life. There is your career, there is your family, there is fitness, prayer life, spiritual. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of goals you need to achieve. So for me, just focusing on certain things at certain times I've seen helps me. Because if I put too much pressure on myself and I have like many things I'm trying to achieve at once, maybe I will achieve one. But I'll fail in a lot of it. And even if I achieve some, it kind of doesn't make me appreciate the progress I have made in that regard. It makes me still feel like a failure because I didn't achieve so, 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 and so. So what I'm doing right now is focusing my energy on one particular thing. Like postpartum, I focus completely on, you know, being present for my baby and my other children. And now in the next one month plus thereabouts, I want to focus on my body exercising and eating right and let's see what i can achieve with that i have a goal of losing 5 to 10 kg 
So once that is done, I have something else I already planned. By this time last year, I knew what I wanted to do with the next one year. I knew I would have to take a break from work because I'm not one of those that will be dragging. No, 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 it doesn't work for me. That will be dragging baby. And, no, I like to focus on work. So I know that my baby has to be able to go to crutch before I can you know, get back to work. I don't have that strength. I don't have that mental power to do and undo. I respect those who can combine a lot of things. But once again, know yourself. Few hours later, you see how I'm sweating. Looking at scoff. I am done and I am done. This is my dinner. Actually, I should have taken this dinner earlier, but our generator had issue and I had to go sort it out. So it's currently like 8 30, which is bad, but yeah. So guys that will be the end of this video thank you for coming along with me on my day i hope to see you in the next video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and give this video a thumbs 